What's up guys, Black Horser and welcome back to another video and today we're back on F1 2020 for the fourth episode of my team uh, Baguette Grand Prix. It's been three weeks now I think since the last episode was uploaded. As I said, I've been uh, off on holidays uh, and I haven't been able to like pre-record anything. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've had very, very solid holidays uh, and I'm now ready to... Uh, Get back on the on the grind. So it starts today with the Chinese Grand Prix. But first, we have the checkpoint challenge in Zandvoort. Uh, I literally have not raced since the last episode. So yeah, that's roughly three and a half weeks now. So I can't guarantee anything. But we've got one thousand acclaim and uh, one hundred and fifty bags to get today, with I believe the uh, twenty ten Red Bull. So let's get it. Alright, so we are indeed in the 2010 Red Bull. We have to travel 7.8 kilometers. Okay, let's get it. Alright, we've done uh, more than uh, more than a lap now. Um, I'm really rusty. I have to get used to uh, the wheel again. Uh, but f I mean, it's, it's, the, the lines I'm taking on Glorious, let's be real, uh, should be enough to uh, give me the uh, the target distance. But yeah, we're not. We're not good. Also, the last time I drove Zandvoort was with my other my team, and there uh, I have a maxed up car, which is definitely not the case of this Red Bull. And done. All right, we've completed the invitation invitational event. Let's get it. All right, we've just made some uh, added uh, parts in the RNG. Uh, we've asked uh, the team for uh, better aero in the rear wing outer strikes and uh, some uh, management on the weight redistribution of the chassis with uh, the positioning of the energy stall cells. Both uh, parts should arrive around the 6th of May, which should be in around two Grand Prix. So with that in mind, it's time to head to China for the Shanghai International Circuit, one of my worst tracks. Let's see what we can do. Ah, right, we're gonna go for uh, some track acclimatization program to get this started, just so I can get my grip again with uh, with F1. And then we'll probably do the, the usual uh, practice programs we always do. Uh, so that's fastest lap. Uh, and uh, I think that's all I do actually. So yeah, now let's get this already. Already uh, losing the grip on uh, on the exit of, uh, of the snail section. Definitely not something I was looking forward to. Right, we did a 34 3. It's not too bad. Uh, now, again, I know that this is obviously just practice programs. So it has no real value. Um, but it gives me a, a decent, like, ground or ground level so that I can try to have a decent quality. Uh,. I'm not expecting to leave Q3 again, or Q1 actually. I don't think it's possible. At least not with this car, and especially not on this track. Uh, I'd be aiming for Canada to see my first exit uh, of Q1, because that's for a track where I'm usually good. I'm, by the way, I'm driving like an absolute moron right now, but it's on purpose. All right. uh, I'm staying in 6th or 7th. But yeah. Quali program finished for me. We've done a uh, track hack as well, we've got a purple. So I think it's time to head for quali. Alright, we're going for our first quali run in Shanghai. Come on. 34-3 was the time we did during the practice program. We need to do better than that. Because we've got technically more power given uh, given here. So yeah, need to do higher than a 43... Uh, no, 34-3. Right, I'm going to warn you right now, it's going to be a very shit lap. It's not good. Uh, I lost the back end about three times. That currently puts me in fourth place. It's a 34 dead. I believe I could go in a 33-5. I think that's where I could realistically aim. Right. So, if we're being genuine, I said I could do 33-5. That would put me there. In 15th place. I don't think I can aim any higher than the Alfa Romeo's in this race, or in this quality at least. Um, maybe with some luck we could get Esteban, but I'm expecting Esteban to do a better lap after that. 
Your fastest lap is a one minute thirty four point zero. Cheers, Jeff. Uh, I I think we have the pace for P15. Don't think we can go any higher. Right, it's been a very very tough lap. I've had to navigate through the traffic, uh, so I'm not even going to like improve, which is very sad. Uh, I felt like I had the pace to do better, but yeah, I had to navigate through. Uh, I think there was Grosjean and many Russell who blocked me in the snail section. So yeah, and also this tank lapper, my tires are dead. I won't be able to go any higher than P17, which is a shame. Uh, but yeah. I mean, you know, we could even try to go for another lap, actually. We're going to try to go for a second lap on this set of tires. Not expecting anything, but at least this time I won't get blocked. Nope, same old story. I didn't get blocked this time. Uh, I just had an abysmal second sector. My first sector was like four tenths up. I was quite happy with it. But, yeah, no, I don't know what happened in the last one. Actually, we might have track extended the final corner, but we've improved by 0.247 and we still lost two places. Nice. Even with a, a, a substantial corner cut, we'll say, uh, it didn't go well. Alright, where does that put us then? 19th. Went far off, you know. But, yeah, sadly it wasn't enough. Just behind the Williams. Latifi is four seconds behind Lewis, and that's Lewis's Q1 time. This is shocking. It's time to find out which driver is up to the task of claiming the Chinese Grand Prix. We're here in Shanghai. Shanghai International Circuit then, a 16-corner high-speed thrill ride. The long and ever-tightening right-hander at turns one and two tests a driver's patience and the flat, open to the elements location, test their skill in a crosswind. Two DRS zones will assist passing and overtaking is available into turn one and of course down the kilometer long back straight into the hairpin at turn 14. Anthony Davidson joins me again for the race today. Now I want to ask you about Lewis Hamilton. That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? There are never any guarantees in this business, but certainly the performance last time out would have boosted their confidence coming into this one. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Vettel, Leclerc, Max Verstappen, and Albon, Ricardo, Sainz, Perez, and Lance Stroll, Norris, Ocon, Daniel Kvyat, and Gasly, Giovinazzi, Raikkonen, Kevin Magnussen, and Mr. Monaco, Grosjean, Delatraz, Latifi, and George Russell ends our grid lineup. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. Right, Valtteri got pole position ahead of Lewis. Interesting. Uh, George Russell with the 10 place grid penalty, so we'll start from P18 on the inside of the track, which is not to please me. Um, we're going to do the one stop strategy, obviously. Um, we'll, we'll go soft and hard. Um, and yeah, see how it goes. As I said, China is far from being my best track, so I don't really know what to expect. Good thing is, no rain on the forecast, always good. Uh, but without further ado, let's jump in. As we're on the start of the grade, we're gonna go for five red lights for the Chinese Grand Prix. It's a getaway, it's not great, but it'll do good stuff from Giovinazzi. Bad start from Pierre Gasly in P15 right now with the Frenchman in his Alpha Tauri side by side right now with Kimi Raikkonen. Maybe see if we can make a little pop on the inside. Not only of one car, but of two, three cars potentially as well now, side by side with Daniel Kufia on the exit of the Snell section. Kufia himself side by side with Lando Norris, and we're going to move up to P13. Just ahead of Giovinazzi, very good start from uh, the uh, driver of the Alfa, uh, Alfa Romeo. We're going to go for a big, big lunge on the inside of Sainz. Uh, no, Norris, sorry, and Kufia. Someone is still on the inside. Oh, please don't go three wide. Oh, hell no. Nah. We're going to try and maintain it around the outside. But Lando Norris is going to get the move done. Can we still 
clinch it inside of this corner. Yes, we can. It is P11. Seven positions gained in that first lap, and we're already 1.5 seconds behind Lance Stroll. My race is officially over. Right, gaining on Lance Stroll in this section at the end of lap two. He breaks really early, but we're going to try and stick with the Canadian. If he could, if he can, like, pull me through the race with the DRS, that'd be rather ideal. We mustn't forget that he is on the softer comp uh, compound. Uh, as we do a 37.7. Alright, it's not bad. It's much better than I expected or thought he could, uh, well, turn it, turn out, I don't know. Understand English in it. Oh, wait. Ever so close to Lance Stroll. We've never been this close. We're going to get DRS as well. Of the Canadian who himself will get DRS on Sergio Perez. It's going to be maybe a three-way tie going into the hairpin. Can we make a move? Lance Stroll swerves at the last second. And we're going to go in extremely deep because of that. But we're still going to make the move on Lance Stroll. Lance Stroll who's still currently on the uh, outside of the penultimate corner. Actually, final corner. He's still there. But we're going to make the move sick. And that is... P10. That is P10 for us. Not something I expected this season. Or at least, well, I mean, no, I did at one point, but I mean, not in China. Like, n just no, definitely not in Shanghai. I feel like we even have the pace to get Sergio Perez. Then science is going to be another story, but. Right, as we're going to come home at the end of the last uh, of the f sorry at the end of uh, lap four, some of the soft runners are already in the pits. Uh, Sergio Perez did not go uh, in, in what in his box, so that's going to give us one more lap potentially with DRS. Uh, but this man is getting extremely slow uh, in uh, twisty sections. He does have the um, well just the sheer engine power to drop me as soon as uh, the road becomes a, a bit more straight but yeah you can see him losing the back end uh, at the end of sector one here if we could get Sergio in the main straight and then mind our own business for a, uh, for a few laps that'd be I believe uh, a very very good plan from us oh we've never been this close to Sergio Perez should be an easy move we're gonna fake to the left go to the right inside of the corner try to break Maybe a bit early, making the apex, covering any kind of switchbacks, and Sergio Perez is now behind us. We are virtually in P6, uh, but it is uh, on track P9. Well, I mean, no, it is on track P6, but it should be uh, P9. Perez and Stroll both carry on on their softs. Okay. Okay. Interesting. We're just going to mind our own business now. Go for our race. The, f the top four... Wait, hold up. Did the top four already pit? If not, right? If they haven't gone to the pit yet... they have. I mean, that means they started on mediums. So it's fine. But if they have gone into the pits and they're still 8 so seconds ahead of me... Place. This is shocking. End of lap 6. Sergio Perez has gone into the pits. So, uh, so did Valtteri Bottas. Um, which now leaves Mr. Lewis Hamilton leading this Chinese Grand Prix at the end of lap 6 going into lap 7. Uh, but Charles Leclerc is quite close to him, which is not something you'll see in real life. Uh, but I don't know if Lewis is on mediums uh, or on, uh, on softs. But right now we're virtually in P4. One more stop ahead and we'll be on a podium position somehow. Also, Lance Stroll is being the greatest train like he's, he's just being a blockade and he's allowing me to to get some sort of air so genuinely lance from a french person or oh, from french speaking person to another cheers and cheers for the challenge as well i love that what i was scared about is currently happening uh with lance in the pits lando has clean air and it's allowing him to come back a lot on me he's getting about one second a lap at this rate um, and it's just not fun. Now, I was enjoying myself in clean air, uh, but I feel like I'm going to have to defend rather soon from uh, Lando Norris. I'll have to admit, I do like the fact that there's alternate strategies behind the, like, 
AI's teammates. So, for example, Lois being on soft, or well, mediums and Valtteri being on soft. I think Leclerc, Vettel is the same situation, same for Verstappen and Albon. I like that. It adds some, uh, I don't know, an element of uh, of intrigue to uh, to the stage, to the stage, to the race. Sorry, and I, I like that. Also, I'm I'm genuinely slow now. Uh, I mean, I'm defending well from like Esteban. We're, we're doing similar times, I believe. Um, but Lando is much, much quicker than me right now. And Lando's gonna try and make a pop. Then he's going to give me before the breaking zone. We're gonna try and go around the outside of Lando and RAS. And we're still side by side. We're gonna use some of our overtake button. He's still there. This is some very decent racing. We're still there though. We're not gonna give up the position easily. And we might have lost one second on Esteban Ocon, but we're still there. And we love that. I mean, I know I'm gonna lose a position to Lando like at one point, so we might as well have some fun and try to defend from him. As we massively lose the back end here. Alright. Esteban is being pushed by Valtteri Bottas. Uh, and we're losing a lot of time on the, the guys ahead. And there goes Lando Norris. With DRS. Goodbye, Lando. Can we make another... Oh, he locks up. He locks up in the hairpin. And that's going to allow us to try and go back at him. Around the outside of the track, as we do. But we get the move again. Get in there. Get in. And Vettel is back in the pits again. Okay. I don't know what Vettel is doing. I mean, I, uh, I mean, no, I know he's doing. He's doing a three stop. Oh, two stop. Sorry, I, I'm guessing soft, soft, medium. You could probably take your medium 15 laps. To be fair. Uh, speaking of mediums, Hamilton. Hamilton has pits. We are on the podium, lads. We are currently on the podium of this race. And Valtteri is on the hard compound. Okay, so I thought Valtteri was going to do what Vettel did, which was soft, soft, and then another compound. But it appears no, he's doing soft, hard. So his tires are going to be very, very worn towards the end of the race. And Hamilton has, like, got a pit stop on him already. I mean, Hamilton has jumped him by five seconds. Maybe not the wisest of calls from uh, the Mercedes boys here. As we massively lose the back end, a lot of uh, lot of issues in that snail section. But it is our final lap on this set of tires. We're going to go into the pits at the end of this one. So we're going to push on, uh, on this in lap. Try to defend our position from Lando. I don't want him to overtake me. Before the pit, uh, the, the pit zone. Verstappen and Valtteri are just behind me. I hate this pit, this pit entry, so... Alright, nice. Into the pits we go. Ia, Ia, ho. I don't know who's going to pit with us. Uh, Lando is pitting. Esteban is pitting. I think Giovinazzi is one of the only uh, medium runners to have stayed on. And it's a 2.2 stop. Get in there, lad. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. And we're going to come back on track in P10. We are coming back in the points paying position. That is surprising. We're not going to defend from Sebastian Vettel. We're going to let him go. We're not in the same race. All right, he's a Ferrari. I'm, I'm a baguette. So... We move. Kofia in the pits. Giovinazzi in the pits. We should be able to jump the two of them. And that should put us in what is going to be ninth place. Get in! Ninth place! As we do a new fastest lap. Uh, I mean, for us. A 36.9. 36.8, sorry. Uh, which is 9 tenths quicker than our previous lap. We are maintaining uh, Landon Norris at bay right now. 
around the four second mark as we go extremely deep in that corner. Uh, I mean, if things stay like this, we will genuinely get the first two points for Baguette Grand Prix at one of the tracks I expected to get the least points. And that's obviously zero. But, yeah, China, Monaco, Japan, there's, like, there's just tracks where I was basically guaranteed 22nd. And as we do some, uh, some rally cross in that corner, I'm quite shocked right now. And knowing that I'm even going to, like, I mean, I'm staying on these tires. The likes of Sainz ahead, uh, I believe Daniel Rick as well, they're all on mediums. And they were on, they, they started on softs. So they'll have one more pit stop to do. We might be best of the rest today if I don't do anything dumb. And that's shocking. Speaking of Sainz pitting, there he is. Carlos Sainz. In the pits. Vettel is going to jump him. I think Daniel... Is Daniel already back on track? No, he's not. Albon is in the pits as well. Wait, Verstappen's fourth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was fifth for a second. Okay. We're P6. We're P6. Somehow, we are in sixth position. I'm lost for words. Alright, so... Um, we're halfway through lap 20 now. Well, halfway. One third through uh, lap 20 which is also basically one well two third now into the race um i'm managing to keep lando at bay he's been around 2.8 3.2 for the better part of like four laps i think now um but he's not the one that i'm worried about i'm more worried about the guy that's just behind him and his name is alexander he drives a blue car and it, it's not a big Grand Prix one, it's a Red Bull. And I'm quite scared about uh, his capacity at catching me, especially if I keep on losing the back end in this corner. Uh, oh god, we've lost a second. We have lost an entire second because of that little moment here. Yeah, I'm scared about Albon. Really, really scared. Right, I have two possibilities. I either defend from Albon... To try and maintain P6. Uh, you know what? We're just going to let him go, actually. The, the second option was to let him go. Because if I defend from Alex, which we're going to try, actually, and go for a late lunge, he kind of, like, closes the door on me. And somehow we're going to keep the position. Okay, slightly aggressive, but, I mean, it's Alex Albon, right? He, he does love... He, he does like... Uh, he does like, sorry, his move rather aggressive. He's going to go on the inside here? Yeah, I think he's got me. Let's be real, I don't think I've got the downforce to, uh, well, compete with the Red Bull. We're still there, though. He closes the door so fucking much. Like, boss man, leave me some air. And because of that, that's going to allow Lando to, to close in on me. And that's the one thing I wanted to avoid. So, cheers, Alex, for being a dickhead. I don't mind fair racing, but... I mean, I said fair, and... You're... Slightly, uh, slightly a, a, a bit too aggressive to my liking. We now only have a one second gap on Lando, knowing that this is a sector where the AI is much better than me. He will have DRS in the next zone as well. Uh, so that is not good. Oh my god, what's my car doing? Lando's there. Shit. Lap 24 out of 28, coming in to uh, end lap 24. Lando's catching me because he's got DRS and all that, but we we do have enough in the lap to like defend from him uh, and have some sort of a gap to like not be overtaken in the main straight, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, lap 25. I'm surprised that no one has had any mechanical issue, or like there hasn't even been a yellow flag in 28 or no, 25 laps. Not a single yellow flag. The drivers are just way too disciplined. I get that you you want to enjoy it, but you need the discipline. And I've lost the back end. And we're going to use some ERS because we're going to be side by side with Lando real quick here. Lando versus me, side by side again. No, he backs out. He knows who's the, uh, the alpha male in there, but I have massively, massively lost the back end. 
and Perez has gained two seconds. That's not good. I'm I'm losing it. Oh god, no, 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 no. That's really not what I wanted. Danny Rake just overtook Sergio Perez. No, no, he's on fresher tires. I don't like that. He's on a better compound, fresher tires. The good thing is you're going to have to overtake Norris before overtaking me. Uh, but that's granted that Norris doesn't overtake me first. Alright, we're going to let Lando through. And we'll come back at him with DRS in this section. Because I didn't want to defend in that corner. It was just way too dangerous. Uh, and it would just have been a, like a gigantic waste of time. So ERS, DRS, Ridge Mix, all of that. And we're getting London Norris at the end of the corner. Get in there. And Lewis with a 34.9. Cheers, lad. That's three seconds faster than what I'm currently doing. Come on, Danny. Make a move on Lando, please. You two, fight for a sec. Come on. I know you, I know you lot want to, like, fight. Oh, back end. That wasn't good. This is your final One more lap. Final lap One more lap of this. Come on. And Lewis Hamilton has won the race. Thank you, Lewis. Uh, but I won't lie to you. Right. You may have the... I mean, you might have been blessed. Hashtag best fans in that. But right now, there's a bigger battle on the road. There's a much bigger battle. We're going to... Go into that corner for the final time. We're gonna have that main straight, well, that main back straight. Rich mix ERS. We're gonna avoid the slipstream of Landon Norris. We'll make sure that he doesn't get into our slipstream, should I say. No issues on that braking zone. Nope, we're good. Let's not lose the back end. We have not. One more corner. The left-hander has been done and dusted and across the line. It is P7 for ourselves. Gets in there. First points on the board for Baguette Grand Prix in their F1 history. Woo! Gets in. Lewis Hamilton wins the race. Nine seconds ahead of Valtteri Bottas who started on pole position and ends up in second place. Very close to Charles Leclerc. I believe he's overtaken him very uh, late in the Grand Prix, obviously Valtteri uh, trying to, uh, to to get the undercut on everyone, starting uh, on the soft compounds unlike um, his teammate Leclerc or Verstappen who had started on the mediums. Sebastian Vettel uh, started in third place, ending in fourth position. He'll be quite sad about that. Alex Albon, uh, with whom we had a, a little battle at one point, ends up 14 seconds quicker than me, or quicker. Ahead of me with the second fastest lap, uh, a 34.9. Where are we uh, compared to like the, the the pace? We're six tenths behind Sainz and Ricciardo. That was on their second run of uh, of mediums. Uh, if we take a look, technically, well, I mean, if we're serious, right? Pace wise, on the hards, outside of the top six, we're the we're the fastest one. Lando did a 37.2. Stroll with a 36.9. Um, but decent, you know, not bad. Very close between us three. Science in 10th place, finishing the, well, taking the final point. Then the racing points will be very, very disappointed with their results. Starting with both, car, both cars in Q3, none of them in the points today. Uh, Louis Deltras last with a 39.5, fucking hell. Right, standings. Let's take a look. We jump into the top 10. With six points, <laughs> come on, big up. Uh, Valtteri Bottas has now a one-point lead over Lewis Hamilton after the fourth round of this championship. Alex Albon is somehow in fourth place. I must have forgotten how that happened. Um, but we're in tenth place, and I'm guessing we're now going to be se uh, seventh, sixth. We're sixth in the constructors' standings, uh, thanks to uh, our first points on the board. Mercedes, though, already running away with it. Nice, 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 nice. 
Oh, look at this. The, the rivalry between me and Romain Grosjean. I'm smashing him. 11-7. Where are you, boss man? And we're getting very close to that level 4 in a claim. Uh, Louis de Rochaz has gained, actually. Nice one, lad. Congratulations. Uh, the team is level 4. And cash-wise, we're only going to get 100k. Mm, not great. And we've also invested in the simulator, uh, which will arrive on the 25th of April. So that's quite cool. Uh, 25th of April, which will be the press interview with Bill Buckton. But that will be for the next episode of my team. Uh, I do hope you've enjoyed it. That was a very fun episode. I enjoyed that massively. Um, and yeah, as I said, I do hope you've enjoyed it for, for our comeback. Uh, I don't know when the next episode will be. Hopefully quite soon. Uh, but yeah. If you've enjoyed the episode, do leave a like down below. If you're new around here, then please do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I shall catch you in the very near future. But my name has been Blackwood. It's been an absolute pleasure getting points today for Burger Grand Prix for the first time in our history. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. What am all the money feeding? I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up, I'm out with the duster. Put him in a drip and sip, love buster.